Databases are part of virtually every application you run in your organization. And great apps need great databases. Now, relational databases are hard to scale, but provide consistency, and non-relational databases offer great scalability with eventual consistency. How do we combine the benefits of both? Stay tuned, because this video is focused on just that. Hi, I'm Priyaga, and this is GCP Sketchnote, and today's topic is Cloud Spanner, which is globally distributed and strongly consistent relational database built specifically to combine the benefits of relational database structure with the non-relational horizontal scale. It is a unique database that combines transactions, SQL queries, and relational structure with the scalability that we typically associate with a non-relational or a NoSQL database. How does it work? Here you see a four node regional cloud spanner instance hosting two databases. A node is a measure of compute in spanner. Node servers serve the read and write commit transaction requests, but they don't store the data. Now each node is replicated across three zones in the region. The database storage is also replicated across three zones. Nodes in a zone are responsible for reading and writing to storage in their zone. The data is stored in Google's underlying Colossus distributed replicated file system. And this provides huge advantages when it comes to redistributing load as the data is not linked to individual nodes. If a node or a zone fails, the database remains available being served by the remaining nodes. No manual intervention is needed to maintain this availability. How does Spanner provide high availability and scalability? Well, each table in the database is stored sorted by primary keys. Now, tables are divided by ranges of those primary keys, and these divisions are known as splits. Each split is managed completely independently by different Spanner nodes. The number of splits for a table varies according to the amount of data. Empty tables have only a single split. The splits are rebalanced dynamically depending on the amount of data and the load, which is called dynamic resharding. But remember that the table and nodes are replicated across the zones. The split replicas are associated with a group, or Paxos, that spans the zones. Using Paxos consensus protocol, one of the zone is determined to be a leader. The leader is responsible for managing write transactions for that split, while the other replicas can be used for reads. If a leader fails, the consensus is redetermined and a new leader can be chosen. For different splits, different zones can become leaders. Thus, distributing the leadership role amongst all the Cloud Spanner compute nodes. Now, nodes will likely be both leaders for some splits and replicas for other splits. Using this distributed mechanism of splits, leaders, and replicas, Cloud Spanner achieves both high availability and scalability. How does Spanner provide global consistency? Now, true time. True time is essential to make Spanner work as well as it does. So what it is and how does it work? Now, true time is a way to synchronize clocks in all machines across multiple data centers. The system uses a combination of GPS and atomic clocks, each correcting for the failure nodes of the other. Combining the two sources using multiple redundancy, of course, gives an accurate source of time for all Google applications. But clock drift on each individual machine can still occur. And even with a sync every 30 seconds, the difference between the server's clock and the reference clock can be as much as two milliseconds. The drift will look like a sawtooth graph with the uncertainty increasing until corrected by a clock sync. Since two milliseconds is quite a long duration, in computing terms at least, true time includes this uncertainty as part of the time signal. And that's how Cloud Spanner provides global consistency, high availability, and high throughput. That's all in Cloud Spanner. For more details, I've included the links below. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to share with me your thoughts. Bye.